Tell me, precisely what qualifications are required to become a teacher? Mr. Calton, coward. Mr. Gates, coward. Mr. Sadler, coward. Amory Hill School is situated not far from Alton, an insignificant little town in East Hampshire. I attended this foul establishment in the 1970s when its headmaster was an odious little reprobate called Mr. Reeves, another coward. These teachers systematically hit, slapped, caned, kicked and physically abused boys and girls in their classes, in the corridors and on the playground, every week, month after month, and even had the temerity to laugh about it in the staff room afterwards. We heard them. Cowards. Mr. Edwin. Coward. Mr. Ellison. Coward. Mr. Ayers. Coward. I suffered intimidation, bullying, verbal and physical abuse from teachers and prefects on a daily basis for over four years. One girl became so distraught she ambled down the corridor and set fire to herself. I saw this with my own eyes. Barbara Jackson kept herself tanked up on alcohol and pills in order to endure the incessant misery inflicted on us by adults who should never have been allowed anywhere near children. Wayne Johnson suffered such abuse, he was placed under psychiatric care after an emotional collapse. Mrs. Hales, coward. Mr. Moss, coward. Mr. Lees, coward. After my expulsion, I too was admitted into a psychiatric hospital. The emotional, mental and physical damage done to me and to other boys and girls perpetrated by these sniveling cowards must be publicly acknowledged. Every one of those teachers must be named and shamed so their friends and families know just what kind of people they were. I am not a Christian. I do not turn the other cheek. I do not believe in forgiveness. On the contrary, I seek revenge and retribution. Abusers of children. Filth. Abusers of children. Scum. Abusers of children. Perverts. 